Uh, we talk about some regular wear and tear on uh, your car. It can be costly because we're going to talk with Brian right now. Brian Bowersox from uh, West Escondido Automotive and Transmission. We're going to talk about catalytic converters. Yes, good morning. Good morning. I mean, what a wonderful topic, catalytic converters. Convert. I think everybody, most people know what a catalytic converter does. Cleans up the air, right? Create, creates right. a situation so that less junk goes into the air, less... Uh, carbon particles. Correct. But um, how, how does it do it, just if you can do that in layman's terms? It's pretty simple. It's a chemical reaction. Uh, we use precious metals that are actually coated on the uh, the fiber, um, the grid inside of it. Chokes you up, doesn't it? Yeah, it chokes This is I a very touching, touching area for you. <laughs> oh. Catalytic converter. Very, the very heart. touching. Yeah. Probably one of the most well-known things by consumers, though, on a car. Yeah. Because, especially here in California, uh, a lot of people, vehicle fail smog, their friend says, hey, put a catalytic converter on it, that'll fix it. Um, unfortunately, that doesn't fix all the cars. So we, we, we get a lot of people that call and say, I need a catalytic converter for my car because it failed smog. Hey, I, I remember when the, when the catalytic converters first came out, there were people that were removing them after the smog test Correct. because they <laughs> figured they'd get better mileage. Yeah, to be yeah. honest with you, um, they do not affect nor restrict exhaust if it's a, uh, a in good shape catalytic converter. Right. They, they now, the early that. ones used to smell. What was that? I mean, I can remember that. Uh, up until about... Well, the last 10 years, I have not smelled that smell, but before that, that rotten egg smell that somebody told me was the catalytic converter. Well, you can still get the rotten egg smell these days if you get a vehicle that's not running in fuel control, that has a problem. And what that is, is there's excess fuel going into the catalyst, and the catalyst trying to burn it produces that rotten egg kind of smell. So if you uh, actually get that smell from your car, um, you'll probably these days have a check engine light already, but uh, um, your vehicle's actually what's happening we're all fuels going into the exhaust system how long should these last on a vehicle? if a car is kept in proper running order and serviced and tuned properly and all that you can get well over two hundred thousand miles out of a catalyst if you have to replace one how expensive are these guys they, it's, it's well smaller than i thought there was more to them than this but. this is just the catalyst um they obviously have to be put into the exhaust it depends on if you have a 95 or older vehicle or 96 or newer we've now gone to a thing that's called obd2 and uh, those catalysts are a lot more expensive, anywhere from 700 to 2100 if you Whoa. drive a ZR1 Corvette. You need to replace all four of them. Well, if I was driving one of those, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind it. <laughs> I uh, wouldn't mind I, it. I, I'd, I'd obviously have a few dollars around. I could get myself an, a few catalytic converters. Gotcha. But one of the keys to this whole thing, though, is um, not just blatantly replacing catalysts. And uh, if you do have to replace one, you replace them with a certified catalyst and they're all stamped that they're certified by the EPA and state of California if they're quality catalysts. There are aftermarket ones that are remanufactured. Um, we don't recommend using those and there's ones that you can buy here and there off the internet that are cheaply made that are not certified. Uh, so be careful. You may not pass that smog test with one of those. Yeah, some of those cats are, are they call them uh, uh, quick pass cats and you, they're made to put on the car. They only last for a few months though. They're really cheap. Put them on the vehicle. May pass smog this time, but next time but you have to do time. it all over. Yeah, again. yeah, yeah, yeah. So you got to. It might make sense. Go to somebody that knows what they're doing. Correct. You know. Correct. So we have. Uh, I can get about a hundred thousand miles out of that baby, right? Or or more. You know, the only problem I've ever had with a catalytic converter is it get loose. I've had uh, something was rattling yeah, under there. Yeah, the basket in the, a lot of times used to come loose in them. It, it's not that common anymore, but it does. And at idle, you'll hear the thing; it'll rattle, right. make lots of noise. Yeah, that was a little. That was an older vehicle. That was one of my classics. One of your classics. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> my wife referred to as is that piece of junk in the driveway hours. <laughs> <laughs> and she didn't always use the word junk. No. But anyway, Brian, thank you very much. Bringing in the cat catalytic converters. I, I, I learned a lot right here already. And I thought I knew everything about catalytic <laughs> converters. So there you are. Approved auto repair. West Escondido Automotive and Transmission. All right. Thanks again, Brian.